Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of the Vicky 2 to Sicilies. <coughs> if we remember last episode, well, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we have holds uh, where we need them. Uh, the troops that we have stationed out in the North Italian provinces and the such pulled a massive war and successfully achieved what we wanted. Okay, we've held the line. Uh, more importantly, we took more territory. <coughs> That's primarily what the war was about. We had to get as much land as we could. Um, and overall, we did pretty well in achieving exactly that. Um, people want a minimum wage movement. How about we go to a 14-hour four workday, and then I'll go to more minimum wage increases. <coughs> we'll do low, and then I'd like to get the health care as good as I can, because I usually am a big health care guy, because it gives me a lot more pop to work with. Um... I know for the only issue we're going to have is just the industrial side of things. I think we built a bunch of brand new steel and steamer shipyards. So we are the main producer of most of the world's goods. <clears throat> Overall, I think there was only one country that outcompetes us, and I think it's Japan. Uh, so she's the only other country with any real industry. <clears throat> In terms of uh, prestige, though, nobody really competes with us yet. Wait a minute, what the hell was that one? Seventh Anahu War. Oh. Uh, as I always sit there and say, we also have these wars going on in freaking Italy where they're just suffering massive de de instability. I, I just don't know what to do for them. Um, I know we knocked down their pop down to 2.42. <coughs> and in terms of taking more territory, um, <coughs> I'm trying to get an idea about what to really take. Um, looks like that territory would be nice to secure... Um, we might want to go for Tuscany next. They don't have that much territory, to be honest. I mean, they do have some, but not enough to really um, have as much of an impact as we originally thought. Alright, so we're securing this. Let's go for this next, too. I mean, that's the only thing I wish that could occur. Is I wish some people would go into a colonial empire besides Japan. Uh, to make this a little bit more interesting, because personally, I just find it really boring that I'm the only one that's able, able to do it. I guess that's the limitations of the mod, though. Uh, most countries don't really see... I don't think they're really designed to do these colonies in, like, the Americas and stuff. Only I am, because I'm the player. Alright, so we got that. Everybody wants a minimum wage movement increase, so we'll do higher minimum wage. Uh, voting rights seem to be the other thing, so we have to get... At some point, I'm hoping that I can get those guys going next. Alright, so we have that, we have that. The industrial side of things is doing really well. I'm going to go ahead and do blue water stuff. And I'm just going to cancel all these remaining ironclads, because I just don't see the point in building them. <coughs> I don't have any real use for them, and we're probably going to begin it. And I'd rather upgrade to the next generation of ships anyway. It's really just a question of, like, how much I'm willing to push this. Like, I'd like to play it until 1936 just to see how much land I can acquire. It's just on, It's just from a player standpoint, there's just so much not to work with. <laughs> just because the AI can't do anything. Like, look at France. France is dead. She'll never come back from this. Although, I am going to be kind of happy about getting um, some of the territory down here. Because that's going to be uh, coal reserves that we haven't had access to. <coughs> At least since the start of the game. So that should hopefully help the steel factories perform a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like the ammunition's a bit of an issue, so let's go ahead and up some of this stuff. <coughs> also, I apologize for the coughing. I haven't eaten anything, I just don't know where I'm getting this cough from. Try drinking some stuff, it hasn't been helping. Although, financially, we're doing really good. I just don't see anybody beating our industry. Like, iron, we have 21% of the world's iron supply. I mean, we produce all the world's industry. So, I mean, if I wanted to, isn't there, like, a thing where I can just sit there and say we can only do goods? <clears throat> Actually, I don't think there is. I wish there was a way just to turn off trade, because nobody would ever be able to do anything. Only I have, like, most of the power of the world. Primitive Nation. I mean, I can go ahead and establish a protectorate on these guys. That'd actually be kind of cool. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and up Benin. Um, we'll go ahead and do Bonnie. 
That's nice. Now I got a coal reserve. That is nice. Two coal. It's not perfect, but it will give us extra resource. Alright, let's go ahead and go for South Cameroon. And I guess we push for Boulevard. I know there is I know there is access to oil reserves up here. You just gotta find it. I could probably get some oil going, suddenly become even more of the world power, because I'd be the only one with oil. Well, actually, no, I think the other guys all have access to oil as long as they went above. No, nobody has oil there. Anybody in the east have oil? No, so far nobody's gotten oil. <clears throat> that sucks. Just hoping to see a couple countries with oil. Alright. What's up this? That Piedmont, create more forts. We're already expanding the fort system there. Go for that. This, that. Good across the board. <clears throat> oh wow, I never upgraded Algiers and Clemson to level fours. Yeah, we did it. Oh, I didn't even do triple these. Peloponnesia, probably like this area. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the islands. I'm usually having a lot of Civil War stuff pop up through here, so let's go ahead and up everybody. Usually, always Civil War stuff going on. Okay, that stuff's doing its thing. This area, so you guys are getting your forts finished. That's good. <coughs> Go ahead and do North Cameroon. As I said before, though, I wish there were more countries doing, um... Actually, the best way to tell is just a lot of them are not doing the research. Well, I guess we can go ahead and up this back. Uh, cut back, trade, trade. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. Alright. Oh, I never had you guys retreat. That would have sucked. Alright. You have an alliance? You're protected by Portugal. That I seriously know. <coughs> Croatia, I want no alliance with you. So far, so good. Everything's working in our favor. This gives us new territory to use. In terms of resources, we get more grain and more cattle, so just more resources for the canned goods factory. Okay, how you guys doing? Ossetania. Job boys, head back home. Set the annexation. Ponte Pilaire. Good. <clears throat> Quite more land. And it looks like the British are finishing another invasion of the wonderfuls of. You guessed it. France. How much how much territory did we gain as a result of that? We got, yeah, we got a few hundred thousand people. 1891. Wow, yet. Is anybody allied with them? Only France is allied with the Ottomans. Hmm. I'm thinking of going for a push to secure Thessalia. I dare say Western Macedonia. Where is the state? Where's the state one? The region one. Yeah, I'd say Thessalia here, Albania, secure the rest of Montenegro. Well, maybe not Montenegro. Maybe we secure. Well, we already have Dalmatia. And yeah, we need Montenegro. We go for Montenegro here, Croatia. Secure this whole western side. To get a good Italy. Do you have our alliance end with? Oh yeah, that already ended. Good. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So what we'll do is one army will stay up here. You guys are gonna pick up some of the other troops. 
and then send them over here. I'm gonna send three armies in on this. I want that to be the area we push from. For gay bar. France, I'm not siding with you on anything. Good luck. Ah, Sicilian North South America. Continue our fish waste. Actually, there is one country that I did see that did start colonizing at one point on my Spanish. It was Nahu. Those guys actually do colonize, so I don't know if they're going to colonize this time around. When I saw them do it, I was actually kind of shocked. I was like, wait a minute, the AI is colonizing and it's a, it's a Central American country? What the hell went on? Alright, take these boys and bring them down here, I guess. Um, okay, we got all those. I'm going to just vote to go for more investment stuff in economics. Where is the Ottoman fleet station then? Is it up here? Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna look for it real quick. It's nowhere I can't fight it at. I'm just gonna put yeah, you guys are just gonna go up here and block it. Tonic Order wants an alliance, that ain't happening. Okay, we can now build battleships. Well, I think I'm the only country with any navy. Yeah, nobody's doing Navy tech, so a lot of the AI just, I think, break. Like, for some reason, Hungary has Navy tech. Army tech for you guys, have you started? You got four now. Zero on Navy, so I'm the only one building Navy stuff. Japan, I'm assuming you still, like, function the same, right? To an extent. Free cultural kin. They have nothing over there that's culturally mine. Alright, we're gonna aim for Thessalia. Alright, France joined their call to arms. And I have troops that can now kill them because they call for it. Now you die. Alright, you guys are gonna keep pushing up. Netherlands. Um, now yeah, you're Borgoy's dictatorship. I don't support your kind. Alright, so if I wanted to do a peace treaty with them, they are still out of date in terms of their being westernized. So, they are not the war leader you are. So that's only worth 16. I'm thinking secure West Macedonia, get the coal, get a little bit more silk. That's how I'm seeing this. I just want more land. Oh, we're going to go for moralism. I like having my conservative party in charge. They're doing really well. More coffee, Stambul. Do I need to get this? There we're going. No, I want more land than that from them. We go for Albania in this. The only question of which one I would rather have. I mean, I like Albania just because it evens out my territory. And it gives me control of the strait. But at the same time, it's really a matter of do I care? It'd be for memes, not for actual need. Alright. Alright, you guys are done after that. Tax efficiency, go for the central bank. Limited citizenship.
I don't think I necessarily really have to worry about like any sort of combined effort to fight us. Yeah, I'm just gonna accept the treaty. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it much further than that. Head here, head here, and head here. Alright. So you gotta get this, this, Thessalia, I can build a fort here. Let's go for follows. Alright, so I go ahead and head home. How is the Clark situation looking? Um, the ones in Sicily are doing really well. They're actually almost done. Wow. Ethiopia wants an alliance. Not a million years. 4% is optimal. Alright. Got that, got that. These guys are actually a secondary power, so I shouldn't mess with them. This lasts until 1891, so I have two more years. Um, I'm going to continue my push across North America, or South America. I don't need those ships. We're going to be building the next generation of ships anyway, who cares? That stuff's good to go. Forts there still upgrading, forts there still building. It's really what it comes down to is I just know I don't produce enough cement and other raw material to really do anything. Um I should start building these new factories for that. How about we do that? Let's get more cement. We haven't done that officially yet. And then we'll hold a new election immediately. And Piedmont. How many factories do I have in Piedmont? I don't have nearly enough that I care about. Let's do... Let's do a cement factory in Piedmont, and let's add another steel factory. And Melia, you'll have the exact same thing. I want steel. I want cement. And since you already have a regular clothes factory there, let's go for luxury clothes. And let's go ahead and give you a fabric area. And go ahead and do... I just saw a dye factory. I don't really care what kind of raw materials I have there. Eh, she has steel. Go ahead and do... Hmm, I'll do machine parts. That's a question. Could do ammunition. Yeah, let's do some ammunition. I need more guns. Piedmont, you're gonna get the same thing. I'd like a little bit extra ammunition. A couple more ammunition factories will definitely go a long way. Okay, we got that. And go ahead and do how many small arms factories do we have? I don't think we have enough. Sicilian, Aegean Islands. I don't have any reasons to care about that. Libya. Yeah, you know, we can make Libya an ex we can make Libya a freaking fun little state. Yeah, let's have some fun with Libya. Libya is going to be an armed state. <laughs> I mean, what do I care? <laughs> uh, is atheism very popular here? No, it's 0.2%. Alright, so next year what we'll do is we'll go to war with... Um... Poland wants an alliance. My ass. Russia wants an alliance. Russia strong. What's your army tech at? 9 of 30? Wow, you actually have... Surprisingly enough, Russia actually has navy tech. Don't know why. Ok, 
Go for that, go for this. The conservatives are back in charge. Help feed the poor. Aim for this, this. Let's just upgrade some of these factories. I want them really rolling out. This, do that. That's really. I like this. This is more fun when you actually have when you're the like one of the big producers of most of these resources. Oh god, why do I have communism? Uh, still can't build those boys. How much longer I have until next year? I'd like to get some battleships out. I, I still don't know where we're going to push, though. I'm thinking about just going for more of the mainland here. Um, I'm thinking Tuscany. Secure Tuscany and see how it goes. I just wish I could conquest them, honestly. If I seem to think for conquest, I'd probably just go for that. Because that would be all of their land. I'd get all of Africa. I'd get all of this. I mean, I don't think they have that much here. There's, like, no pop here. If there is, it's so minuscule, it doesn't matter. And most of this is getting overran by Italian anarcho-liberals. Is history I have a lot of people in it? Pops there. I just want to know where their main section of pop. I know it's primarily here in Lazio. Does province have a lot? Nice? Not really. Sardinia? No, not really. No. Yeah, just withdraw. I need time to get the ports done anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot to check. How's that looking? Okay, so the clerks are done here in Sicily. Oh yeah. Clerks from Sicily. And the next highest is coming from Campania. That's it. Diplomatic influence, go for time-saving measures. Fifth of August is when that officially is done. It's gonna take a year by the time that gets done, we're good. Alright. Where's Fleet currently stationed? Alright, you're gonna get two of the ships from there. You guys can head up here. Send an army here. And go ahead and head back to Naples, because that's where I'm going to send you guys anyway. How is the world stage looking at this point? I'm building more factories. So, the largest army is currently the Anahu, which I believe are the Chi is a Chinese faction, so they always will have the largest army. Italy is placing a close eighth but I'm slowly beating them out of their people, so hopefully if they become a secondary power, maybe that's how I can conquer them. Actually, it looks like they're already headed to 8th power status. Get me 10 battleships. We'll go for time saving measures and immediately go down here and get main armament. The other rebellion? Oh, it's down here. Okay.
go for fire control systems, weapon platforms, and go for main armor. Yeah. That's what I said, most people probably find this really boring because there's no real challenge, but if you really think about it in the long run, when has this game ever been a challenge? It's just a matter of outsmarting the AI. The only difference is everybody's... It really comes down to an equal playing field, which is nobody has any external factors that give them an overwhelming odds chance. It's just the AI doesn't know how to over just doesn't know how to overcome it. Like if you look at England, if its industry is starting to build, but it's not enough. Um, Austria, very small industry. Bavaria somehow has none. Prussia has a very minute amount. Lorraine has a small amount producing. Poland's getting there. I mean, the, it just takes time for industry to build up. And the problem is, is a lot of these countries just don't have time to industrialize because they don't go for um, a state capitalism funded government early on. They tax their people pretty heavily amongst other things. So that's really what it comes down to. It's just who can get the most power the fastest. In terms of the player, I mean, I'm always going to outbeat them because I know how to produce. I know where to focus the industry at. I want an arms industry because if I have an arms industry, nobody can challenge me in the ground wars. Alright, I don't know why the hell they sided with you, but they're idiots. Um, Tuscana. If you join Portugal, I'm going over there and killing you. Yeah, that army's good. If it ain't, I'd be shocked. Wow, it actually ain't. So I said the AI yeah, can do what it wants. If Portugal wants it on the war and bring it in, fine. Alright, voter rights is suddenly becoming very important to people. I want low health care, I want my population to explode. Okay, I think a lot of troops... Oh, I know what they're doing. They're mobilizing their forces and they're spawning in on Rome, so every time they spawn there, my people destroy them. That's really sad. Okay, go for main armament, I guess. Push up here, kill them. Okay, they had two armies pop up down in the south. Go kill it. Here's me another port. Works for me. I need you up here. And you are gonna go here. Gentlemen, head over here. 70 battleships are still in construction. Oh god, we are so close to unity. Twenty ninth of March, that's good. All of Italian Africa is just held down by the might of the goddamn things that are going on there. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I never did bother to check this. Did I ever fix this? I never did. Yeah, I don't care enough. I'm freaking Italy. What am I ever supposed to have? Good leaders? I don't care about the pops and militancy, you don't understand. Build up forts.
Oh good, people were building new projects. That's good to go. Nothing there needs done. I guess we go for impressionism, go for the prestige and reinforcement. Uh, we don't get that till 1898, so I got a while to get. I'd also like to commit to the invasion of freaking Ottomans. That'd be another fun one. I can definitely see the invasion working off again. Just keep moving up, secure more land, move up, secure more land, get more raw material, send it home to Sicily. I will say this, the timber and Cold. We got in North Africa. This stuff's really coming in handy. It's given us a lot of raw material to work with. How's the rest of the world looking, by the way? It's not really changed that much over the years. Spain's still about the same as it was. England's still growing. She's taking a lot of land there. It's turning almost into an idea of like the dual monarchies. They just gotta secure um, Ireland and the rest of Scotland. Mongolia looks like it lost land to uh, Mughalstan. They're only partially westernized. I'm actually shocked by that. The Russians have pushed all the way east. She is now currently getting a foothold into other lands. I mean, I could go for 10 battleships. That would be nice. Prestige game just came in. Go for experimental. I actually might want to go do some of this Navy tech. Nope, only 20 battleships. That up. Build them up. What's our population currently sitting at? 13.72. They have over 10 million with them. They have 6 million, 7 million, 800,000, 2.17. Yeah, the population certainly have been caught up. I think mine's doing okay, but that's just because I keep expanding my territory, so my control keeps getting larger and larger. Um... Here, 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 here. Any other territories? Yes. Can pick up her voice here. Okay, guys, head over here. England wants me to side with them. I'm not interested. Why would I care if you humiliate Russia? I'm allies with them, you dumbass. You gotta give me more than that. No, again, I'm allied with them. I'd rather have a strong Russia in the east because it keeps Poland down. I'm siding with the Russians. Alright, you guys are good, right? No other territories besides them are getting hit. 
pretty much. Alright, let's go for naval plans then. Italy joined their side. Are they stupid? Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Who's this? French, rea <laughs> French reactionary's got more land. <laughs> They're just like, Luke, we fought them. Now we have more land. Take it. You're still allied with the Portuguese. You are an idiot. How long does this truce last till? 10th of July. It goes into next year. Okay. I just want to build more battleships. Luca Nationalist. Well, I'm in Luca, dumbass, so you die. Eh, I don't care about that. Minimum wage movement's becoming more and more crazy. I'm gonna vote for an acceptable healthcare system, and then go for limited safety, and then jump onto the good minimum wage. Alright, where's our other territory at? Alright, they're getting there. Rebels want more land. They're like, give us more. I'm like, no, be it. How did you become a great power again? I keep taking territory from you, jackasses. Uh, West Macedonia has three provinces. We can scare West Macedonia. That's more coal, tiny bit of silk. It's better than the alternative. And then we'll uh, go for, keep moving up along the coastline till we get all of this under our control. Screw all this. And it just comes down to dealing with Austria. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in itself. I actually don't know how that's going to work for us. Yeah, leave it be. Look at our splendor. Up the factories again. It's really our prestige that's giving us the advantage. It's what makes it kind of on the boring side. Nobody else has the prestige we do. Industry again is leaning towards the Japanese, surprisingly enough. Yeah, they got the prestige. China's got the army. Well, I got prestige. China has an army. Japan has the industry. As minute as it is. Huh. Well, let's sit there and see. Got all these ports. Might as well upgrade them again. Got level one all across this. I'm fine with that. Ports there. Go to these ports. That port, that port. Love these ones. Free town and all that. Monte Pilaire, she needs upgraded. These guys need upgraded. That port's good to go, that port's good to go, good to go, good to go. Now where the hell did this rebellion kick in? Right here, alright. And when did I say we can do this other war? 10th of July, so... Eh, about six months. By that point, my battleship should be finished. Good on that. Aim for naval logistics, and we'll go for naval risk management, and then go to deep defense. Honor's doing great. Cut back on the taxes. If I cut back on taxes, that'll make people happy.
People really want those voter rights. Hmm. That acceptable healthcare system, our population is exploding in terms of that. Which is really good. Alright, one thing I am going to quickly do, because this appears to be slowly growing into a problem. And you take it as is, whether you agree with me on this front or not, but... I'm seeing it as I need to get conservatism on the rise because socialism is taking it a toll on us. If I had to guess, in terms of the population as a whole, the majority of my population will vote conservative. The ideology has shifted between conservative, socialist, and liberal. That's pretty much, I, I, would, I would dare sit there and say that's pretty much an accurate uh, determination of what we have now in most countries like liberal is i guess the terminology has switched because it's kind of mixed in with high social liberals versus what it used to oh good finally that lowers the people's anger towards me but um the terminology definitely has changed liberal back then went, like they wanted to expand people's rights versus i want to force everybody to kind of agree with each other which i'm not a fan of at least personally, I, I just don't like the idea of people trying to tell others how to live their lives because they don't like the viewpoint. Like, I don't care. It's not my. It's not really my job to tell somebody how to view something. They have a different view. I mean, it's probably a good thing that they hold a different view, whether I like it or not. And you sit there and go, "Well, that's not necessarily a good thing." It's like, okay, so we have these ideologies, we have these viewpoints. They exist for a reason. Whether I like it or not, they're there. What's the worst thing that could happen? We hate each other? <laughs> wow, Russia has definitely grown into a juggernaut. But as I said, I just don't care. It's not really my job to sit there and dictate to people how to view have a viewpoint. I mean, just educate yourself, learn about stuff, and you'll do fine. That's how I've always viewed it. It's usually self-education. That usually would end most of the issues we suffer from. Like, if you actually research half the crap that, you're, that you preach, you'd probably look into it and go, wow, I, I'm probably a, I come off as a jackass sometimes. As do all. Alright, so how long is it going to take? This said... Now. Nice. I think, we'll end the, I think we'll do this war with the Ottomans. And then we'll see where we're at after this. I want to secure... What was it? West Macedonia? Yes. Secure West Macedonia. You guys are going to push here, here, and here. If Italy joins, I'm going to crush them. I don't even think the Ottomans have an army, do they? No, they never built an army. They actually are probably the best overall country to play as in this. The only thing you have to deal with is, like, the issues that arise from, like... Okay, so I said I was going to do trinket, 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 and then do limited. Limited safety conditions, and then raise the minimum wage again. If I could, I'd like to secure even more territory from them in this. Oh, I can add a war goal? How much does... Um, I'm fine with consciousness. How much is West Macedonia? Not very much. I would like to secure, if humanly possible... I'd like to get Albania. If I can get Albania out of this, I'm a happy man. And then the other thing I'd like to get is the Ottoman Aegean Islands, because that will give me the rest of the control over the islands here. Surprisingly enough, I'm, I'm shocked that they're not suffering more instability than they are. What's that give us to 26? What's my infamy at? Not high enough. Um, I want Ottoman Aegean Islands. Excellent. Alright, there's that. Could go for Ottoman Montenegro. And then secure... Hmm, North Macedonia is another big pick. How much do I have now? 20, 36. Infamy's not high enough yet. Um... I will vote for Northern Macedonia. 
possibility, huh? Okay, Navy Tech's doing well. Uh, that's all going well. I'm going to vote for going for administration efficiency. Let's go for the economic ideas. Alright, where are they at now? Let's see, 36, 42. Um, could go for southern Serbia, then Montenegro. And I'm just going to keep pushing it. The more land I can get out for them, the better I am. I mean, there's going to be a point where it's got to stop. I think the next section is going to be Montenegro I'm going for. I don't really care for Serbia or Bosnia, I think, too much. 32, 42, 52, 58. This is probably the biggest territorial grab we've ever had. Can we get a lot of new ethnic groups? Okay, what's that get us to? 71. I'm gonna try to get Bosnia. Wend with Bosnia. Let's see if we can get it all. Okay, go for the acceptable minimum wage. That's your hopefully quell the masses. What is that get us to? 94. Perfect. That's a big territory grab. I will say that that's one thing I do like about this. It's the fact that I can just take so much land. It's kind of OP. I kind of don't like doing it, but... Yeah, I ain't using this land for anything good. It's raw materials I'm getting access to. That's other tax brackets I'm getting access to. It's all good for me. Istanbul. Man, it's not really that fun since the AI really isn't building anything. I was actually hoping this game they'd actually build some stuff. There's not too many countries building up armies, but... I mean, England's got a sizable army. Spain's dead. I think Poland, ha Poland has a small army. It's just nobody has the industry to back their forces up anymore. Uh, I guess go for here. Push there, push there. If we just secure the Aegean Islands, I mean, I think the war's over. They don't have their capital anymore. At the beginning, it's really dangerous with this mod, because there are countries that get, like, little minor alliances. And those minor alliances can really mess your day up, because you don't have the tech to be able to fight, but... This late game is where it just kind of picks up to where you can kind of carve things out and do it yourself. See? <laughs> you kind of carve out your own little sections of land to do your thing. Um, I could establish a protectorate. I just don't see the point in it. At least not yet. I need time to build the rest of the territory up. Uh, go ahead and head to Sarajevo, or Sarajevo, whatever the hell it's called. You guys can head to Skopje, and you guys can go back to Athens. National Banking Act. Go for this. There is... Southern... Negro territory, that territory. Japan wants an alliance. Well, this is OP now. They have the east, I have the west. They started taking more territory yet. Yeah, they've begun their spread. They got Taiwan. They got Papua New Guinea. They look like they might... They're already getting New Zealand. And they're securing the rest of the Pacific, so good on them. Wow, I haven't built a new army in a long time. Might as well build them up. Do I have a south? I do have south Italian troops. Go ahead and build up on Naples. I 
I'd say they're ranked 10th, yet they are, they are still the 8th greatest power in the game. They own nothing there. Oh yeah, I forgot to build up the islands. It's actually really funny to think about. Look at just how big I can get in this. <laughs> you literally can take on the entire world at this point and probably win. Uh, but with that, guys, I know I'm going a little bit over on time. I think I went over by 45 minutes. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. We come back. Let's see if we can take the rest of Italy. I think I'm done with the Ottomans for now because there's just nothing else I want from them. Maybe East Macedonia. Maybe. Uh, but for the most part, I've kind of secured the lands I wanted. Uh, really, it's just a matter of conquering the rest of Italy in the hopes that I take it all. Um, there's that going on. Uh, I gotta go to war with the HRE at some point to take control of South Tyrol. <sighs> it's certainly an interesting game. This is probably the biggest I've seen Russia get. At least in this game. Usually they don't get that big. They usually stay kind of small and never really interact with anything, but nonetheless it's fun to see. Africa's still up for games. I just have no colonial power since I don't care. So it's like I go for it if I wanted it. I just don't have a reason to. The raw material would be nice. That's about it. I see some iron. A lot of grain. It's down here in South Africa. I never really look here. More iron and stuff. Yeah. As I said, it's just it, it's really just a game where you kind of get to sit back and relax and do stuff. Because you're not worried. Because there's no rival power that can really beat you. It, early game, yes. But late game... It kind of turns into this mess. And I kind of want to highlight the mod because I think it is a fun mod. Um, to my extent, I think it's fun. I, I, I just wish it was slightly more challenging. I wish the AI was smarter. I mean, I'm not going to blame the people that make the game. or I'm not going to blame the person who made the mod. I mean, it's just Paradox of the 52 AI. It's not designed to be this smart. Like, that's why it makes it so frustrating as a player when you don't have the industry and you want to build up the industry. And then you can't, because you can't get the government people in charge that you need. But then you sit there and look at this and just go, Oh yeah, I finally got to build the industry, and I'm 90% of the world's production. And 60 actually cement's not that bad. 93%, nobody's building this. Glass, people are using it. I produce 100% of the world's oil supply, 37% of the world's that. I mean, lumber... Fabric's another one people are building into. Electric gears haven't really started yet. Steamer shipyards, I produce a large sum of the world's goods in that. Clipper convoys are still valuable because people are still dumb enough to buy it. Explosives are important. If you look at arms industry, I produce 22% of the world's ammunition supply, so I do have a I don't have a, as big of a claim into it. However, I make a large group of the world's small arms. I produce a large sum of its artillery, canned goods. I own a big section into it. Actually, I'm kind of curious. So I'm the top producer of canned goods at 51. 14 in the artillery, 36 in that, 32 in that. Automobiles haven't started yet, so I can't build into that. Furniture, I'm not even in the records. A lot of people, it looks like, wait a minute. To me, it looks like a lot of the things the AI are building are civilian goods. They don't build too many military goods. Maybe that's the difference I'm seeing in this. Yeah, because I'm building a large sum of the world's... Uh, that, I'm building a fair bit of that. Japan, Anu, Poland, Ireland, Portugal, they are major producers of liquor. Huh. So maybe that's where I'm not seeing the production at. Oh, I mean, we produce large some of the cattle. Well, that's because I got a lot of the tech for it. Huh. Japan's a big fabric producer. There's only four of us producing shipyards. I'm the only one producing clipper convoys, so that's economy that I don't need. Yeah, it looks like civilian goods is where a lot of the production's at. Yeah, even the new are producing a large sum of lumber. That's actually really interesting. I'm the only one producing oil at this time. Do I even have access to any type of oil reserve? 
kind of curious on that front. Is there a natural oil reserve that's popped up anywhere in game? That lets me use my fuel refineries. Not really. Let me look. Caucasian. Okay, so I know where these guys. Okay, so they have the only oil produced production in Grozny. Okay, so that makes sense. They have the only oil producing. And they probably have the tech for it. So they are producing oil. Just a very minute amount. Theoretically, if I secured the rest of this Southwest Africa, or this West Africa territory, there is oil here in Nigeria and stuff I can get a hold of. I think it's somewhere in these provinces, so if I if I invaded this, I could probably take it. I know Venezuela will have it, so I'm kind of wanting to push up here. That's why I kind of went into there. But at the same time, I don't really want to keep pushing into it. I kind of just want to give the the other AI a chance. Maybe Russia will do, like, colonization of North America. That'd be cool. Like, I get South America, they get North America. Maybe I take some of the Caribbean islands. I know I want to build Panama Canal. That'd be kind of neat. But I have no desires for the rest of North Africa. I mean, theoretically, I could go build the Suez. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this real quick, and I'll get the Suez built. So, uh, if you like scream, do comment down below. I went on long enough, and I extended the episode by not shutting up. So, see you guys next time. Thanks.